What's up you guys? Okay, yeah, no, sorry. That was that was a lame attempt at an intro. What's up you guys? Jada here and I'm back with another video. First things first, Happy New Year. Is it too late to be saying Happy New Year since we're literally two weeks into 2021? Anyway, this is the first video I'm filming in 2021 so I don't think it's too late. I hope you guys had a really nice celebration over the holidays and I hope 2021 is good to all of us since 2020 man was something else. It was filled with some good times and some bad ones. That was another lame attempt at a pun. I'm so sorry. Since it is the new year, I thought I'd start and try doing new types of content here on my channel and one of them being reaction videos since that's something that I've really been into lately. And I thought what better way to start than with something I'm really passionate about. Why don't we? Which you may or may not know, they're one of my favorite bands of all time. Literally, if you know me personally, you know that I never shut up about them. And they actually just put out a new album called The Good Times and the Bad Ones. And it's taken everything in me not to listen to it, but I wanted to save my genuine reaction for you guys. And that's why we're here today. We're here to react to their newest album and I'm so excited. And I really just want to get straight into the video, so why don't we just do that? Quick note before I actually start reacting, I will not be playing the full songs in this video just because I'm really scared of getting copyrighted. Atlantic Records, Warner Music, please don't come for me! And also another reason I actually really want you guys to listen to their music or stream it if you do like it. I totally recommend it. So yeah, let's get straight into it. I'm gonna be trying to react to this record as objectively as possible because I know as a fan I'm gonna love all of their stuff but I'm gonna try and look at it from a different perspective probably as being a singer-songwriter myself and in the music industry so let's get it so for the opening track we have Fallen which I've already heard but like I'm still gonna jam out to it because I love that song so <laughs> Not even thinking twice. Let's go, Jonah. His voice is like so question. It's so sweet. Okay. <laughs> that breathe. One second. I, I need to pause for a second. Zach's voice, man. Like the command he has. Like, I think his voice is perfect. For hooks and when he comes in with this one in particular it perfectly sets up the song i've gotten to a point where i memorize the harmonies that they do in the song i love that song so much and the production if you guys are watching this video, you may or may not have seen my interview with them here on my YouTube channel, so I'll go check that out. It'll probably be linked at the end of this video or in the description box, but I got to chat to them about this song and just seeing how I know that this means so much to them and especially this like I think this album in general, but this one in particular. I know Corbin really said that this really stood out and it uh, it was a song that wrote itself. Okay, for this next one, we have Slow Down. This was the last, like, single that they released before the album came out. And this was, like, a surprise release one, so... I know that they really like this one. They, they talk about this a lot, and they say this is, like, one of their favorites. This song is, like, one of those songs that you listen to when... I love to listen to this, like, going on a road trip with my friends. We were just driving down roads in America. Guys, I know I might be using some unfamiliar terminology here. I'll probably put some definitions somewhere here below so you guys can follow. But usually in a song when you would write a chorus, well, I've been told, like, you'll have some sort of like lift in a chorus to kind of make it stand out as a chorus. But they kind of 
did the opposite, which makes it for an interesting song. I guess with the pre-chorus, when Daniel is singing up in that register, I think we need a little California case. And, and then Zach just brings it down. Because Daniel's voice got me feeling some type of way. I'll be honest though, like this song like took a, a few listens for it to grow on me, but it doesn't make it a bad song. I feel like it's one of those songs like I would call it a grower. I want to give them a shout out for bringing back the whole like pop rock guitar sound because I feel like that's something that the industry really needs right now. All right, next up we have Lotus In, which is my personal favorite from all of the three singles that they released before releasing this album. <laughs> Also, wait, before I continue any further, the, this song is written in D major, if I'm not mistaken, and this really weird, like, music geeky fact about me is that I'm such a sucker for songs that are written in D major, I don't know why, I think it's like my favorite chord. As soon as I heard it, I was like, okay, no, this is gonna be a good one. I saw you moving on the dance floor. I like how this verse really starts off quite high in a, in a guy's register. The control that Jack has when he when he comes in, like I've noticed like from each of their live performances, he really showcases that really beautiful part of his range. I think that's probably one of the best aspects of his range in my opinion. Like, his part I think is probably one of my favorite parts of the song. I wonder if any of these songs from this album are gonna be Lotus In because this is like my favorite. I wish that someone looked the other way. Also, I want to make a quick note, Zach's voice. Again, I, what I was trying to say earlier, like besides the command he has, it has this like crystal clear like quality. It's like there's light coming out of his voice. That's probably like one of the best ways I could describe it. It just sounds like <laughs> it's so clear. In Tagalog, you would call it apinado, which, if I'm not mistaken, like a really rough translation of it would be like in the pocket. He's always on the note. Zach, I've noticed, is also rarely pitchy. In live performances, he, he's so consistent. Share collab. <laughs> Baby, we can turn back time. I love how Jonah's carrying this chorus. I'm so proud of that guy. He's in his upper register, which is rare. I know, I'm sorry guys, I keep pausing. I just have a lot to say. I keep talking about their tones and all. Each of them have like their own like individual characteristics of their tone, but Daniel just really has this solid texture to his voice. It's like, it's just so unique and so distinctive. Like the moment you hear it, you're like, okay, right away, I know, that's Daniel. Let's go for it. Guys, one, two, three. You look so perfect, if you're a limelight and you're watching this video, you'll get my reference. I know I'm not as cute as Corbin when he does this, but you guys get the picture. His voice just has this charisma. It reflects his personality as well. His part in the music video is my favorite. This song is the type of song that if I had like a soundtrack to my life, I would really want this to be part of it. Like it's such a feel-good song and I love that lyric, I never want this night to end. We all reach that point where there's this specific moment with this specific person and you wish like this particular night with that person would never end. And you just have so much fun and you wish you could do it over and over again. I've been there before, guys. Comment down below and like this video if you have to. Tomorrow we can press rewind. <laughs> we'll stay at the Lotus End. Now we're on to newly released songs. And the first one that we're listening to right now for track number four is Be Myself, which I heard is an emotional track that Daniel wrote about Jack's anxiety, which is like so touching. But it's getting uncontrolled. I love his lower voice. Jack sounds so mature. Yeah, he does. 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 I don't know, it has a bit of a country vibe actually. So why do I try? Why do I try? What that call and response earlier. 
I really like this pre-chorus. I already know, I'm gonna be crying to the song at 3 a.m. Wait, I'm waiting for Corbin's part. I love the gentle quality of his voice. Wait, that song was three minutes. That didn't feel like it at all. I feel like it's like too short. I wanted more of that. So for track five, this is Love Song. I heard a bit of the snippet of this one. It sounded really vibey, so. I wrote another love song, baby, about you. It goes like this. Oh, the chest from Chest to Head Boys. in the rain, okay, Corbin. It goes like this. Oh, this is catchy as hell. I can totally hear this on the radio. I can see this in a Netflix movie. Nice. We are on to track six, which is great. Everybody has been talking about this. I've been getting DMs from fans asking me if I've listened to Grey yet. Am I still alive? Let's hop right into it. Oh, it's a piano ballad. Oh gosh. Am I gonna cry? It's been too long, I'm missing your kiss. Yeah. This feels like very your confessional, kid. which I really like. You've been there through it all. deserves a standing ovation oh my gosh i wasn't expecting that i am shook i don't know what to say oh my gosh they did it again okay no this this is definitely my favorite song now oh my gosh what a beautiful song i know i said that i was gonna cry to be myself at 3 a.m no that that sorry i mean that's a good song but this this takes the cake upbeat tracks are really what make it nowadays but this is what the music industry needs, like a more heartfelt songs, and this is that. And Jack's opera reg, I mean all of them were amazing, obviously, but like his falsettos. No wonder why everyone was like, Are you live? Have you listened to Grey yet? Yeah, that, that's exactly why, okay. I had to take like five minutes to recover from Grey. We're almost done with the album, I can't believe it. Oh, next up is For You. And even when you move the night, I hope you know that <laughs> hey, it's a, it's a vibe, man. After I'm done crying to Grey, maybe at like 4 a.m., I'm gonna be vibing to this with tear stains on my cheeks, and I'm gonna be like, Be there for you. Yeah, I'm in the palm of your hand, and you don't give a damn. Was it easy to live? I like the flow there. In the palm of my hand, and you don't give a damn. I like that. For that second verse, it's almost like it's, it's being rapped. Be there for you. like the hook i think for that second chorus like well that last one that we heard i don't know personally it sounds really good i like the repetition i'll be there 
I'll be there you. That's very hooky. But I don't know, I probably would have wanted... I was waiting for the drop to come in a bit sooner. That's just my opinion. I can totally respect like that artistic choice. Props to him. We're on to I'll Be Okay. The real question is, guys, will I be okay after I hear this song? Oh, she talks so sweet like sugar, like candy. Okay, we're back to the off tempo track. Hey. Yeah. We did it for the good times and the bad. Hey, that was title reference right there. I like that. I hope they, I hope they do that again. Yes, they did it again, yeah. Okay, one thing I just want to say real quick is like, what I'm really like, happy about, like so far from everything I've heard, the boys have really grown so much as musicians and I, I really love how in this album, they've been able to explore different aspects of their ranges. Taylor made these songs for their voices. They were able to challenge themselves vocally which I think is really interesting. Let you know Corbin's voice I just puts a smile on your face when you hear Oh! <laughs> I didn't see that coming. Well, nah. It gets more interesting in the end. I feel like it'll grow on me more as I listen to it. We're at the second to the last track, which is Look At Me. And I just gotta say, I heard the teaser for this one. I, I read a bit of the lyrics as well on Twitter. I probably wouldn't play this around my parents. I have a very strong feeling I'm gonna be really like shook after this. <laughs> what was that? Oh, nobody gotta know. Kissing on my neck, turn to my zip. Red, that's me right now. Feel so damn crazy. Okay, Daniel. I wanna say really quick, like the little gaps in between, like before going to the next section of the song, like from verse two to the chorus, like the little pauses. I don't know why I think of Billie Eilish. Just what I like. Woo! That wasn't even two minutes. Do I wanna know who wrote this? Just don't play it around like your younger siblings or cousins. You don't want them asking questions. We're at our last track for the album. This is Stay. Let's hear it. Stay one more night. Oh my dear. Okay, sure, I'll stay. Why do baby I'll be lying if I didn't say I want you stay? Yes. I feel like Daniel was inspired by Post Malone. Yes. Oh, and that's how they end it. I have no words. And that is the end of the album. I am absolutely shook. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to find the words to describe how I feel right now. I am so proud of them. They have grown so much, guys. Like, I saw them. So, okay, I'm gonna give you guys a really quick background. I'm about to get all sappy. But I started out really as like a fan of Daniel's. I think a lot of people already know that. I was there when his fans were called like Faniels, if I'm not mistaken, he, when he was still on American Idol. I remember seeing him when he was like this. And he was this like cute little 15 year old and I was sad that he didn't win but you know things happen for a reason i remember like following him until he was put into why don't we and then i remember hearing taking you and nobody gotta know i admit i started out as like more of a casual listener of the band and then i really started to follow them once i heard songs from the eight letters era and now i stand the whole band and just to see their growth as artists i i know i keep saying this over and over again but i'm just so proud of them and they really took creative control and I, I know that this is their passion project they've mentioned this multiple times before and I can see the joy in their eyes each time that they perform these songs and I'm sure like even more so when they go on tour they're gonna have so much fun I'm just so happy that they were given this opportunity to really showcase a different side to themselves and 
their growth and their evolution as artists. I have so much respect for that. I just want to put this out there. Daniel as a producer and he has so much to offer and it's just so amazing to just see like see someone in their element and pouring their heart and soul into what they're doing and I, I just love that. They've been pushed out of their comfort zone. Each and every single one of them. I mean, for example, with Jonah used to kind of stick to his lower and mid register and now he's singing in his upper register and with the hooks. Zach, I mean, he's the youngest member of the group and you can just hear how much he's matured from taking you into now. Corbin, his tone has been so much more refined now in my opinion and he's really found himself and I just want to say really quick that guy like he lights up the stage he has amazing stage presence and he really connects with the camera I mean I love that and I look up to that to be honest and Jack he really blew me away and he's always been a really strong singer but I love how I've been able to hear so much of him in this and they really gave him time to shine and showcase every part of his voice. He just sounds so confident. To the boys, if you guys are watching Corbin, Daniel, Jack, Jonah, and Zach, I'm just so happy for you guys. And you guys just did such an amazing job and you deserve all the success in the world. And I really hope that this album really takes you guys to a different level. This is like a proud mom moment for me. It's just so inspiring for me as, as a singer songwriter and someone who's really into music production as well. It inspires me to take initiative as well, even more so in making creative decisions for myself as an artist and making music. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Go listen to Why Don't We Stream Their Music. If you like this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and to comment down below on what other content you wanna see me do on my channel. Make sure to subscribe and to hit that notification bell to be updated on my next upload. So thank you guys so much again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.